This is how you do things the right way. Hey guys, Scanner Danner here. So today I'm working on a 02 Chevy Malibu. I'm just kidding. This is the HMAR Mobile Tech Channel, and I've got another video for you today. And just wanted to say I do like Scanner Danner a lot. I like his channel. I like what he stands for. He's a great American, and he makes great videos. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a quick rundown of all the specifications that you're going to need and the, thi and the things you're going to need to know before you start an oil change on this 2009 Pontiac 5 1.8 liter. Now, back in 2002, I think till 2010, General Motors partnered with Toyota, so you'll, you'll probably know if you own a Toyota Matrix or something similar to that. I believe that they use the same engines in that vintage and maybe in some other Toyota models. So let me just run down what I'm going to do here today. On this 2009 Pontiac Vibe with the 1.8 liter, I'm going to do an oil and oil filter change job. Now, it requires full synthetic engine oil, so let's do it right. Let's use full synthetic engine oil. And I want to show you the specifications. So I hope you can see this. So it uses 5W20 full synthetic engine oil, approximately 4.4 quarts. And just recheck after you fill it just to make sure it's right. And you need to use a high quality filter. The engine oil filter does a tremendous job at filtering oil for a long period of time. And most synthetic engine oils you can use for about 7,500 miles. That would be the minimum that I've ever seen. So the filter does a really, has a really important job. So you need to make sure you get a high quality filter that's capable of being on the engine that long. So we're going to use a Napa Gold filter for this engine. It's a 7046. And then you can also get the filter from the dealer if you'd like, but just get something equivalent that's a high end filter. You don't want to cheap out on an oil filter. They, like I said, they do a tremendous job at filtering. You need to have a good filter so you've got clean oil in your engine. You make the engine last longer. <clears throat> the oil pan drain plug bolt torque is 27 foot pounds. And here I've got the size here is a metric 12 by 1.25. This is the oil drain plug. And the part number from Napa is a 704-1038. But you know the size, so you don't have to get this exact part number. You don't have to go to Napa Auto Parts. This is just where I happen to get it today. And then the filter wrench that you're going to use, I bought this about 10 years ago from eBay. This is a Toyota Lexus oil filter wrench. So this, as you can see, works on a lot of different engines and it will also work on this Pontiac Vibe engine. It's got three little teeth in it like this, and then it's got one little notch in it, and I'm gonna put a picture right up above to show you what it looks like underneath the vehicle. Now, this, this is a cap wrench, so this torque is gonna to be 18 foot pounds with a torque wrench. This is American inches, S-A-E. Okay, so just want to make sure I'm clear with that. Everything I say, unless I say something different, is all going to be American sizes, and it would make sense if you hear something like Celsius or metric, then you'll know that's something from India or Great Britain or something like that that use the metric system. There's three requirements. The three requirements are you, you can use the GM 6094M, which is Dexos. This engine oil is Dexo. So you can see on the bottom, it only looks like this. So as far as I know, this is a proprietary thing from Pontiac GM. So Dexos. And then the number two requirement is for temperatures above negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit or 29, negative 29 Celsius, SAE, Society of Automotive Engineers, 5W20 is the correct engine oil and is best for this engine. And then the third and final thing is it must have APA, API American Petroleum Institute Starburst symbol on it, which if you can see that, it's that, that little circle there, star, that, that's the Starburst symbol I'm talking about. And 
I'll leave a picture up above of what it looks like in case you couldn't see it in this shot. I, I say all this because I want people who do DIY to be expert DIY. And I want people who do this as a living, like any type of a Jiffy Lube or any type of an oil change quick lube place, be the best mechanic you can be and it'll show in your work. And you won't have comebacks and you'll just feel better as a, as a mechanic doing things the right way. This is how you do things the right way. You did a good job. Subscribe, like, and share, and watch some of my other videos. See you next time.